Hi, I'm Martin Gettings. I'm reporting from Cloud Computing World Forum 2011. I'm here with Nick Coleman. Uh, he is the, the Global Cloud Security Leader for IBM. So, uh, what are the, the cloud security issues which, which are, are new, uh, which, which weren't necessarily uh, around when the traditional infrastructure was in place? I mean, cloud is, uh, is, is in some respects new and in some respects builds on what we already have, right? So, the traditional security stuff that you have about you know, access and identity management and all those bits, they are still relevant and now we have to apply them into our new cloud environments, right? So it, this is about getting the new features of cloud, like some of the technologies, which are different. Some of the way we deploy it, um, you know, uh, can be provisioned up and down. So there are different challenges that you get with the cloud. In fact, I wrote a paper called Cloud Security, Who Do You Trust?, which is available on the internet which kind of goes through these issues and talks about what was traditional and what's new. And the answer is some of it's traditional. It's all the good things. It's about audit and compliance. It's about you know, application management through the life cycle. It's about the infrastructure and threat management. So all those things that we talk about are still true in cloud. And then we need to think about, well, okay, so how do we apply that in cloud? And cloud has some differences. So if you take application vulnerabilities, which have been growing for a number of years, then we have to apply that because actually when we think about that in the cloud, it talks about how we do that. And how do we actually get to, as, a, as businesses, small or large, to get to an understanding of how do I manage my applications, how do I manage my infrastructure when I'm actually adopting virtualized technologies, when I'm doing multi-tenant models and all those things which come to bear. So there's some new features of cloud um, which you know you need to talk to people who've done it and been there and actually understand the differences, but also the stuff that you bring with you, the legacy uh, uh, security controls, which you don't want to just ignore because those are equally relevant. What actually is security in the cloud? It's a good question. And in fact, I think, you know, if you talk to people, then there are different definitions. Some people think it's about data and where it sits. Some people think it's about really the legal and compliance issues. Some people talk about it as the infrastructure and the multi-tenant cloud model. And in fact, you know, the reality is it is all of these things. And so when we're looking to sort of think about having a conversation about cloud security, I, I really take them through the life cycle and say, okay, so let's look at the infrastructure, let's look at the actual employee, the interactions, the, uh, the people side of things, let's talk about the processes of security. And so effectively it comes down to three things, people, process, and technology. Now, I know that's you know, what we always talked about. So when you talk about it in cloud, you start to talk about, well, where's my data resident? How am I scaling up? But in the context of process, so how do I provision? How do I deprovision? How do I do it securely? How do I apply it in those areas that actually I need to have controls in? How do I make sure my data is in a particular location, country, or, or region of the world? How do I do all these things? So people about the people and who has access and how do the administrators behave? The process is the security process of all those things I've done. And the technology, which as we say, cloud technology and other technology come to bear to help you build it and then also run it and manage it. Um, and, and I think, as I say, it's my great question is because a lot of people describe it in different ways. And actually, it is the holistic approach to security applied to cloud and the specifics of cloud. So I know IBM works with SMEs and multinationals, large companies alike. Would you offer different advice to the smaller companies as when, uh, compared with the larger companies? Well, in some respects, it's about where you start from, right? And so there's no such thing as cloud. There are lots of different clouds that companies can use. So you have public cloud and you have private cloud, you have, and you have a whole range of options in between. The reality is, if let's take a small video. Let's say I'm a, a small company who wants to do some application development, and you're starting then often the public cloud or a variety of that to get onto infrastructure as a service to do that thing can benefit from doing that in a secure way and having those control. So often I'd probably say to a small movement, you don't have some of the challenges of a legacy infrastructure. You can get things like email on demand through the cloud, Lotus Live or some other thing. You can get test and development there. And you, you know, whereas actually if you talk to larger organizations, they can do all that, but they probably have other things that they need to integrate through. They have a lot of legacy pieces and it's both, it's making sure that the model is appropriate. So some of those larger companies will also need private cloud, you know, but if you're starting as a small linear enterprise, actually you probably can really embrace the cloud quickly and get onto those pieces and use software as a service and all those things 
you know, without having to do the infrastructure and the, and the build yourself, which for a small, medium business makes a big difference, as with a large organisation. Who should people talk to to understand security in the cloud? I think you always want to talk to people who've got practical experience, right? I mean, that's a, and professional qualifications to back it up. Um, you know, there are a lot of professional organisations that, you know, that, 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 that are reputed for, for this. Um, so I think it's partly about the people and making sure they have the appropriate experience and qualifications. Um, and, and then the other thing I think which is important is you really want to have people who've got the background in security who then embrace the cloud and can really talk through it. So, you know, you're looking for people, I mean, I'm a, a member of the Institute of Information Security Professionals and, I, you know, and, and I'm a fellow of the BCS and the IT. So you're really looking for people who've got personal credibility in this space and who have also been through the security space and then have really lived the cloud. You know, we, we want the difference of people who can actually have the discussion about, well, how does that work in a jurisdiction? Where have you done it before? So I think it's a combination of looking for the right people and then the companies and people who've got the experience. Okay, Nick, well, thanks for talking to us today. Sure. And uh, stay watching for more from Cloud Computing World Forum 2011.